Thank you so much. I'm Michelle Holland, and thank Jody and Ace Tech and everybody here tonight. It's an incredible honor to be here tonight. And as a big shout out to the lead partners, Ryerson DMZ, Communitech, Startup Here Toronto, 111, of course, all of you here tonight. So I'm just going to tell you that this is my coming out party. And yes, yeah, so I, I was told it would be 30 people. And now I have a crowd, which is amazing. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be that amazing politician to, um, to come up here and solve uh, the magical problem. But I can say that I've been definitely leading the charge on, um, on gender parity. And I, I, I have to say, I, I love my new role. I'm so happy. I love John Tory, our mayor of the city. Uh, I've served on the executive with the former mayor Ford and now and, and with John Tory as well. And also uh, on all the important committees, uh, budget, um, public works, whatnot. And the issue is, is that we were sort of missing something with the tech and innovation. So both Mayor Tory and I both had this passion for uh, moving the dial, but also to promote and to enhance our sector and in this particular sector. So we are so excited to do that. And this is a brand new portfolio. And I'm so excited to actually be named the advocate for the innovation economy. So that's one whole area. And I'll just say, just because I, I was speaking to Jody and Siri and to Ilsa, and I'm just, I'm just stunned to be here tonight. It's in all my 20 years of politics, this is the best, best event I've ever been at. And I'm so thrilled to be here, honestly. It's such an honor. Honestly, I'm with the best and the brightest in the city and I'll say within the corridor as well because I know many of you are not just in Toronto, uh, but, I, but I, my heart and soul is with Toronto as a, as a city councillor. But um, my other hat is that I'm also chair of the corporation's nominating panel. So that's the city's, uh, sit, the city appointed me and, and John Tory actually appointed me as the chair for the corporation nominating panel and we appoint to boards. So I do that as chair. And so I encourage you all here tonight, I know there's so many women here that are up and coming and they're saying, how do I get on a board? We don't do advisory panels, but we have amazing agencies, boards and commissions at the City of Toronto. And I'm lucky enough, I'm blessed enough to be actually the chair of that panel. And there's only three of us, uh, myself and the deputy mayor and another councillor, and we actually appoint to those boards. And I actually have been moving the dial. I've been trying to change the lens on that and focus. And with the mayor's support, we have been moving the dial at the City of Toronto and making sure that our boards at least have gender parity and we're going to reach that by 2018. So that's one whole area. So I've been doing that, thank you, for the past two years. And Danielle just cut me off when, because I'm a politician and you need to cut me off. Um, but that's one whole hat that I wear, but and I was so lucky to take on this new portfolio. and. And it's new and we're, we have a few areas that we're definitely look at, looking at. And one is obviously to coordinate. So I'm just gonna talk about three areas that, that, that we're, I'm gonna look at the mandate. So I've been reaching out and working with so many amazing startups, scale-ups, major corporations, banks, uh, labs, uh, all of the educational institutions, and the Mars, uh, amazing, Commutech, all of these amazing groups. And, and leaders in their field. Uh, but what, what I hear a lot of that there's a bit of a disconnect and that's why I'm so happy that Jody and Daniil and Mars have created this event tonight because it really brings everybody together. And that's what I'm so thankful um, for that. And it brings everybody the first of its kind in a room, especially women in tech. I mean, this is, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. So this is, this is like nir nirvana for, for me and uh, I, I'm just, I'm really pleased about that. So it's one thing is to coordinate. And the second area is obviously uh, to attract and retain talent. As politicians, we're always worried about disruption. As you heard about with the Uber debate and the taxis, we were worried about people being without jobs. So that sort of was the impetus behind this and making sure that our city is not only opening, opening the doors and making sure that we're attracting and retain ta retaining talent, but also that if there is disruption down the line, i.e. if there's an autonomous vehicle and we know that drivers are going to be without a car, we want to make sure as a city that we are building and enhancing those skills uh, for those drivers to make sure that we're going to put them into other roles and that there's no unemployment because I'm a bear and a bull on that and to make sure that uh, there won't be unemployment, that we're 
you know, making sure that we're ready and prepared for that and that we're in a proactive position instead of reactive, which is what happened with the Uber and the taxi debate and everybody heard about it. So that's the second part. And the third part is just moving the dial forward. So part, a big part of my agenda is making sure that we are creating the right environment for women in tech. And I'll be doing that. And Siri can attest to this. So I'll be asked to go to many events uh, and I'll be making sure that if I'm on a panel or if we're uh, invited to any events or um, celebrations or whatnot, that we make sure that, that diversity is represented and that there's women at the table when I, whenever I am there. So that's my promise to you. So uh, that's it. I'm not gonna continue on. And so happy to be here tonight. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, I'm here to talk to you and please uh, tweet uh, or text me or, or email me and uh, I'm here to talk to you tonight. Thanks so much.